the Tins nightclub has become a hub for hyena spice supply operations, posing a significant threat to the city. Meet up with Agent Lee and eliminate this growing problem. <laughs> I never get high on my own supply, but this shit is incredible. Welcome to the party. Agents receive a mission briefing, stating that they are to meet up with fellow division agent, Lee. Their goal is to disrupt the hyena's spice supply lines. The agents have had a long week, so they equip their super lazy skill build so they don't have to focus on aiming too much. They arrive at the designated location, a nightclub known to be a front line for the hyena's illicit activities. Their first task is to infiltrate the nightclub without alerting the enemy. With careful coordination, they breach the establishment and secure the workshop where the hyenas process their spice. However, their progress is soon impeded when the hyenas launch a surprise ambush. The agents fight back, overcoming the hyenas, and push forward to reach the VIP lounge, where they hope to gather more intel. As they make their way through the dimly lit corridors, they face a setback as the lights suddenly go out, plunging them into darkness. Undeterred, they reactivate the lights. However, Lee, against Manny's advice, has pushed forward on her own and would be taken down by the hyenas. Agent Lee, status. Deceased. God damn it. I told her to wait. The agents once again move on and would catch up with the chemist who was responsible for manufacturing the spice. The area becomes a battleground as the agents engage in a firefight to secure the location. Amidst the chaos, they disable the water supply, disrupting the chemist's operations. With the chemist being cornered, the agents eliminate their target and move on to take Agent Lee's body, honoring their fallen comrade. Prior to the outbreak, Lee worked as a paramedic in Washington, D.C. Her regular duties often led her to a prominent nightclub situated in downtown DC. Unbeknownst to her, the establishment's owner was involved in distributing drugs to its patrons. Despite Lee's diligent efforts to report the illicit activities of the nightclub to the police, no substantial evidence could be obtained to incriminate the club owner. Coincidentally, the owner continued to engage in drug trafficking, while Lee found herself repeatedly attending to drug overdose cases within the club. One encounter, driven by frustration, Lee approached the club owner, leading to a confrontation that caught the attention of city agencies, placing her in a difficult situation. <laughs> Took you long enough. I don't work for you. How many people OD on your shit this time? Hey, I'm not responsible for what people bring into my club. That's bullshit and you know it. Oh, temper Lee. You remember what happened last time. Fuck you. My boy is recording this entire conversation. You want to keep making threats? You keep making spice, I'll keep making threats. <laughs> You're adorable, like a little angry puppy. Good thing the city put a leash on you. You might bite someone. After the outbreak, Lee continued to work as a paramedic, which took her to the nightclub again. This time, one female customer had overdosed, and as she was treating the patient, her smartwatch was activated. I need you to sit down for me. Yes, pretty lady. <laughs> How much did you have? Just like dying. It wasn't that much. Okay. I'm gonna need you to drink this water for me, okay? Can you do that? Sure. You're glowing. <laughs> I know, I'm so pretty. No! I mean your watch, silly. It's all orange now. <laughs> it's pretty. Activated. Fucking finally. A few months later, the club owner joined the hyenas and named herself The Chemist. It's completely safe. Just a little more potent than the last batch. This shit is crazy. I can't feel my face. You feel invincible, right? Totally. 
Like you could get shot in the stomach five times and still run a marathon? Yeah. What do you treat this shit with? Don't worry about it. It's safe enough. I really want to fight someone right now. Good. Then it's working. The chemists used the nightclub as a drug lab for producing spice, a drug developed by the hyenas that enhanced strength for a short period of time. Lee went back once again to the nightclub, but this time as a division agent. Division coordinator Manny Ortega dispatched agents to support her. Lee was told to wait for backup, but unfortunately she chose not to and was killed while fighting members of the chemist's crew. A team was sent out to recover Lee's body for a proper burial. So we grow it, dry it, and then treat it with the chemical wash? Yes, it's not that complicated. But, like, what's with the lights? Plants grow better when exposed to different kinds of light. And different colored lights have different wavelengths, which can impede or encourage different properties in the plants. Okay, cool. So the EDM? The vibrations help the plants grow bigger, stronger, faster. Cool. But, like, how? It effectively simulates wind, which causes the plants to fight against the vibrations. <laughs> A little stress is good. Too much stress, and the stalk of the plant can break. Are you a drug dealer or a chemist? Yes. Not too much to talk about with this one, as it had a fairly straightforward story with a solid conclusion at the end. Awesome level design though. But there was one com that I didn't play earlier that got me thinking. Good to see you're still alive. Thanks. When you didn't come in, I was worried someone took you out. Nope, kinda busy here. We talk about this later? You're orange. Perceptive. You go off mission, you're supposed to be red. Guess that means I'm not off mission. You gonna help me with this spice OD or keep quizzing me on protocol? Nothing hugely new heard here in this interaction, but it really set the scene for how sensitive Isaac is when it comes to flagging agents as rogue. Obviously Lee wasn't flagged as rogue in this situation, but for them to be concerned about it makes me suddenly realise how restricted the agents really were at the beginning there. I've always had the illusion in the back of my head that agents are free to go and do anything they want, provided it's in line with their primary mission, to save what remains. But it sounds like Isaac is far more restrictive than that. It makes me wonder how many agents went rogue while doing good things that would eventually get mowed down by division agents or would ditch their division gear altogether. Like I said though, it was just a thought. Anyway, thank you once again for watching these videos and Extremis Mullis, Extrema Remedia. Extrema Remedia.